even in the light of financial institutions, mm. <coughs> there's an update from Shattered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. And it seems like it's very new to me. When I saw CIBM, I thought, okay, CIBN, right there. I was thinking, uh, did these people misspell CBN? But interestingly, there's Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. What's the update from them? Jim goes, Jim, yeah? I'm not yep. obliged. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Come on, come on. <laughs> My man will watch this video and be like, God, what happened while I was away? Sorry, normally we are serious people. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I don't know what, what you are saying. <laughs> this is on camera. Anyway, as we are, uh, sorry, as we are not. Si- as we are saying, CIB has commenced an interesting move. So they want to certify POS agents, or basically everybody in the um, agency banking space. Um, space. So <clears throat> they started a, a certification program, and um, currently on the website, you, the website is myabc.ng, okay. and agency ban- bank agency banking certification. That's like, and yeah. they said cool, the yeah. idea is to. Um, improve professionalism, improve conduct mm. by the agents. How much? Okay, yes, let's get to how much. First of all, um, if you want to register, and let's say you're an agent and you want to register, mm. or you want to become an agent or you want to play in that space, um, registration is ongoing until 10th of November. Um, after that, you start studying. Did you mention the website? Already? Yeah, myabc.ng. Okay, ABC. Which is my very interesting. ABC. I don't, my ABC, when I saw that thing, I'd be one laugh. Because we have an ABC transport somewhere. <laughs> so there's a... Okay, I think the study will start from 1st of December to March 25th, 2024. And then you take exams in April 2024. So it's a very serious something. It's not like you're here to play. Yeah. <coughs> You'll be taking exams. Take it seriously. Um, so, yes, now it gets interesting. Um, okay, so let's talk about cost. It's basically 33K. But there's a group... I know. Everything. Okay, group lifetime. registration. No, I, I don't even know whether it's lifetime. I'm sure I need to... But there's group registration fee for 5K. There's CIBN registration fee for another 5K. Then there's now program and examination fee for 23K. Um, so I thought that I could sign up, but apparently I need a group registration code for me to sign up. Uh, okay. so what do you mean by group registration? <clears throat> so they said groups can be like associations of agents, a, um, agency bankers. So, so branch. Exactly. Oh, Vega okay. branch, Lecky branch. So you guys need like a code and then you impute it in order to con- um, continue. Yeah, so there are three, from what I can see here, three pathways. There's foundation level, there's intermediate level. <clears throat> then the code is one um, certified level. Each of them are about, okay, so the foundation level is one week, um, which is funny. One week of doing training about yeah. how to be professional and using POS. You know, yeah. So uh, it's not it's not even to use POS. Okay. So like to be a POS agent, rather. Yeah. So I think what they are they are saying they want professionalism, and one of the things they mentioned is that um, a lot of the accounts opened are being opened by fraudsters. Not mm. that fraudsters no are now entering into bank to yeah, open yeah. bank accounts. Same way they're but in crypto. Exactly. <clears throat> um, yes, she <laughs> said what she said. Uh, but yes, they are opening or fraudsters are opening accounts there. And then they want to like also improve customer service. Now that one off me pass because it's concerned where we to overload <laughs> <laughs> customer service. If you like don't use their POS, you will walk to the yes. nearest bank. Seriously, to if collect. you look at our podcast, it means they are streets. No, it's true. But I mean, think about Why it. Like, what concerns POS the woman beside my house with customer service? But customer service is useful in everywhere. Of course, I'm not saying it's not useful. I'm just saying you want to train her in customer so, service. So, when so she, you know. Okay, one thing. Okay, so that's just one part. Too. It's okay. not like that's everything. Yeah. Okay. So they are said classification to one of the benefits is they want to improve professionalism, capacity building, professional identity against harassment. Now, this is the one that is very interesting. They mentioned something about um, security, like basically interfacing with security agents. So maybe security agents are harassing POS agents. I don't know. Oh, no, not, not that. Um no, they move a, about a lot of cash. Mm. And some of them get... Um, robbed. Yeah, robbed. How does the certification help them? So, for instance, <laughs> now, if there's a group, that's like, there's a group, there's an associate, as, association, mm. they could use this certification. If there's an affili- affiliation between CIBN yeah. and uh, a security outfit, they can just give them one to, like, look after their operations in that area. I'm just thinking. So, but um, 
no, my concern. We don't have enough policemen in the my, first place. I said security. Um, what's it called? Outfit. Amoteku. Uh, <laughs> no, there's no Amoteku now. I don't want to Let mention me. names because. <clears throat> do you do you do you want to pay for advertisements for the name no. you just mentioned? No, but I mean, you... but but like let's think about <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> if you actually want to do that to security, mm. which like which security company do you want to be? Are you going it's to not, pay for it's that? It's not for us to think. No, no association. Some things comes with bulk um, subscription. For instance, you get you get. I'm not trying. To, I'm not in CIBN, but I just feel like for them to bring say these things. For mm. for one, they are not government agencies. Yeah, yeah. They are CIBN. Independent bodies, I okay, believe. Yeah. <laughs> so for them to be coming up to this thing, ulterior motives are quite on the low side compared to a government agency. So uh, to a to a large extent, I'm trusting that for them to come up with these things, they've like sampled the opinion of people in the association, they've considered their pain points and they now decided that this is what would be useful for these people. Right. So the only thing now I would think is that um it's just for public acceptance. The same way you would public acceptance uh, yes of the, same, the agents no no, no. Who? of of the certification that CIBN gives you get the same way you will see an HR professional and if you don't see what is this thing in there am I can you I'm so sorry I should okay, know I that mean, all. Nigerians yeah. like certifications they will do it they will do what certification like are you sure no no, no I'm yeah. talking about public accept I'm not talking about people getting it it's about public acceptance for instance now before you use the POS agents for instance say this mm. thing gets mainstream will you ask them for their certification or you will look at their shops if mm. it's plastered on the wall would, would you mat would it matter to you so that is the kind of acceptance F I'm first talking of all about. first of all the the vast majority of agent agents um, banking or the agents the vast majority of them are like um, mobile not not even mobile they like don't have a shop very structure. They, they not not even structure. Like I'm looking at their educational experience. Um, of course, if you are, are educated or like have some educational qualifications, mm -hmm. but do you think that a guy who owns a barber shop, for example, or a woman who who sells tomatoes and uses that, mm -hmm. well, uh, it, okay. But you do you think any of these people are going to yeah. go? Or care about a certification. Yeah, so that, I so think that even, is where the even a hair sal even in Lagos, they mm -hmm. have hair salon. I mean they associations. have hairstylist associations. Okay. They give them certificates. Yes, no, 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 you don't you the customer. Wait, wait, sorry. No, no, certificate if you, you, belong, if you want to belong in these associations. Yes. yes. So yes. certificate, certification, there are two different things. You're training me. Mm -hmm. You're not just handing me a certificate, maybe after I've paid five K. You're training me. Yeah. Are they going to like are they going to do all of this? Yes. Yeah. They, so I think you know. I think so. Let me. Um, I'm. We are going too far. Let's use one of these Ponzi or one of these, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to mention their names. All these guys, and they have trainings every week, a number of days. Mm -hmm. People, if you go to their trainings, you see a lot of people, and most of the people, all these people are the kind of people you are mentioning. Sorry, so we are talking about an entirely different thing, I it's, think. They will, yeah, it's, it's, it's just same, trying to no. draw parallels. Like, so I think no, you're I drawing parallels that. with the different demographics. So you are telling me I need a certification to mm -hmm. do X. So for example, look, um, they're saying, I'll just read a few of the things that um, the agents, uh, sorry, the CIBN guys are saying. So I, I, like, like I've mentioned, I think some of it, like there's probably a need for this. So they said they do sharp practices, unethical practices, not doing due, due diligence, due to poor training and lack of professionalism. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it is the job of an agent um, an agent to like do KYC or do due diligence before conducting mm -hmm. or um, approving. Service. Yeah, before, uh, yeah, before going through the service. Yeah, I don't some, know see, that, okay, that, this that things, I don't like want us one. to take it like too far, right? These things are just because it doesn't happen does not mean that is the norm. No, right? I'm no. You should, you should have a level of knowledge you get. Yes. Okay, wait, um, uh, running, being a, P, being a POS agent is more like you are running a mini financial institution. You okay. get. Okay. So there are some knowledge you should have. It should not just be because I want to make ends meet. The next thing I want to try is POS. You get, which is what we have now. But if there is something that is going to lecture them, like make them have some basic knowledge, it will inform the way they act. I'm not saying that 
you have to scrutinize every of your customers. There are things that you will see that look like triggers to you. The same way banks, maybe you you, you have like a current account, a savings account in a bank, and the the highest number, the highest amount you've received every month, so so amount then. Two 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 thousand dollars entered your account in a month. They will be curious. It's a trigger. So for for instance, if if a POS agent has like not like similar understanding like that, they will be able to know triggers of when a person is a fraud or something like that. It's not as if you are scrutinizing them. You are doing your business. You are actually scrutinizing them. No, you are not. You are. If it is if. If you're not scrutinizing okay, them, okay, you let's might admit as well just... that. Let's admit that you're scrutinizing them. You are running a financial institution as it were. As it were, yes. You're offering financial services. You are offering financial services as long as it has to do with money. Yeah, but you're not an institution now. Nomenclature. <laughs> 